Hey guys, day seven of my Appalachian Trail adventure. We are back on the trail after a night at Top of Georgia Hostel last night. So feeling refreshed and ready to go. Um, a couple miles down already, probably stop for lunch soon. All we had was they had all you can eat cereal breakfast this morning. So I had some cocoa puffs, but it wasn't very substantial. So already went over a couple big mountains today. I'm trying to do about 13 miles to Deep Gap shelter tonight. See you later. So, we just got to the top of, we're calling it Kelly Mountain, even though it's actually called Kelly Knob, and that was probably the toughest climb of the AT so far. Even tougher than the approach trail, wouldn't you say? I can vouch for that shit, that's why I'm still fucking sitting down, I ain't moving. I'm disgusting. That was brutal. So, that negated the shower that I took this morning, but we just have a quick downhill to deep gap shelter. See you there. So I've been about ready to throw my tent off a freaking cliff this entire hike. I've been bitching about it the whole time, but turns out I had the wrong measurements for the trekking poles, so I just set it up no problem. So this is my formal apology to Hyperlite. Love my tent! And here's how someone with OCD goes camping. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what determination looks like. Oh, God. <laughs> How long were you at that? That was about a good 45 minutes to get that <laughs> fucking fire going. And by the time I got it going, I'm out of all the fucking wood I collected, so what the fuck? <laughs> it was wet out today. So I think this is like my eighth marshmallow right now, but we're calling it dinner because I'm an adult. I officially made it to six o'clock and I'm going to bed. Day eight, the sun decided to come out today after fog for the last few days. Day seven, not eight. <laughs> it's day seven according to Ivy Tat because he is not counting day one of the approach trail, but I am counting that. So, day eight. <laughs> We've already hiked a few miles today and we're hoping to cross state lines today. See you later. Welcome on my state biatch. Hey, that's so nice. <laughs> uh, I thought it was a bigger sign though. Yeah, me too. I walked right past it. Well, I would have. We did it. All right, we officially crossed the border into North Carolina, which is Abitat's home state.
Ta -da! <laughs> it's day eight. We are concluding. We got a nice campfire going. Had a bunch of marshmallows again. We did the 13, I think, miles today and ended just past the border crossing. So we're gonna have an early night, wake up in the morning and do it all over again. See you tomorrow. Good morning, day nine. <laughs> it was a freaking cold one this morning, getting packed up, but after a couple miles and a couple uphills, we are all warmed up. <laughs> anyway, if you need to take a shit, it's that way. So I'm obsessed with these tunnels with these little squiggly trees, which Ibitat says are called Rhododendrons, I think. Don't have shit like this up north. So after what feels like 10 fucking miles of switchbacks, we made it to the top of Standing Indian Mountain. Uh, the legend of Standing Indian goes something like this. There used to be these monsters that lived up here, and uh, they occupied it. But but one day the Indian decided they wanted to come up here and take over, the, take it over. Okay. And so they had a big battle up here, and and finally they and and they won. They they beat beat back the monsters and. What these monsters were, I don't know. But <laughs> anyway, open to interpretation. They're open I guess. to interpretation. But anyway, in order to, uh, you know, they had this big cataclysmic battle up here, but uh, in order to make sure the monsters didn't come back, they stationed an Indian up here, and they stationed him right down there somewhere, and he turned into a pillar of stone. Oh, and, that, wow. and that's why they call this Standing Indian. That's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's a legend of Standing Indian. Wow. So we're still on the mountain, just had lunch, soaking it in. <sighs> so as I'm walking down this mountain right now, it reminded me that I've been wanting to give a shout out to my physical therapist, Lily, who worked with me over the winter with my knee. Um, so I just wanted to let you know, my knee is holding up amazing. I'm on day nine, no pain whatsoever, and I have seen a lot of people already struggling with their knees. So, Lily at Pro X Physical Therapy in Amesbury, you the shit. Dinner for tonight. So, typical six o'clock, 6.30 bedtime. This is my, uh, my evening, view evening out of my tent. And this is how me and Abby Tat do it. We go to bed around 6.30 or retire to our tents. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna wrap up this video tonight. We are at, what mile are we at? I think we're around mile 90. And that means we'll be hitting the 100 mile mark tomorrow. So I will catch you on the next video. Bye.